Week 17 predictions. Every pick for every game. Here we go. Dude, not a lot of splits this week. It, I mean, there are just... And by not a lot, you mean one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's just games that just feel pretty one-sided, and we'll start with the first one here on Thursday. Of course, the Jets at the Browns. That To me, that's just that, that's a Browns all day long. Run the football, physical. Uh, it seems like that Jets defense is a little bit overhyped, and they play a good offense, especially a good offensive coach like we know Kevin Stefanski is. They seem to crumble a little bit. I mean, they gave up 28 to Washington, right, and Washington's not good. Yeah. Uh, so that that's troubling. So even their strength of their team isn't their strength, really. I guess Trevor Simeon looked okay. Brees Hall looked good. But I just don't think it's enough to beat the Browns at Cleveland. Yeah, um, it's a dogfight when you play Cleveland uh, of late. I, I think – the, the, the Browns have been solid and at least very competent for the last two to three years. And now that their defense is so good, I don't see a very underwhelming offense in New York going in to Cleveland and yeah. doing anything with the football. I would agree. The Saturday game, it's a uh, Monday Night Football Saturday night special which, edition. Which is weird. That's pretty weird. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, but it's going to be the Lions at the Cowboys. I'm going to take the Cowboys. I know I said it last week coming off a loss. I expect them to bounce back and dominate Miami. This is the game where I expect them to bounce back. I don't think they're going to dominate. I actually really like the Lions uh, to keep it close, but I do think they win, especially because they're at home. Dak as a home quarterback is insanely different than Dak on the road. Yeah. He's like 120 pass rating at home, like a 98 on the road. Still good on the road, but not like he is at home. That's a completely different team when they're in Jerry World, so I think they win. Uh, but I do like it to stay close. We'll get to that later, though. Yeah, I'm going Cowboys as a side here. Uh, I do... Then you'll see it reflected in the bets on a budget. I think the, the Lions are a very competitive team that will be able to... Very live do, dog. It'll, it'll be back and forth. Uh, I think Dak will make some mistakes, but I think the Cowboys are good enough at this point where they're going to win this game. All right, let's go with the Titans at the Texans. I think C.J. Stroud will be back. I'll show that we thought that last week, and that screwed me <laughs> on predictions, but I'll still ride with the Texans here. Okay, we're both taking that uh, side. At now. home. It's an interesting line at 3.5 for the for the Titans because you're getting the hook at 3.5 in the divisional game. I'd probably bet uh, Tennessee. It's not in bets on the budget, but that's probably the side I'd be on, but I think the Texans win. Um, I, I don't trust the, the Titans as much to keep it close as you do. Um, I just think – that you talk about the definition of inconsistent this year. The Tennessee yeah. Titans pop up. Um, it's just because they've been inconsistent at quarterback. And I, I have to say, a couple years ago, I talked about maybe Mike Vrabel's a top five coach. I, I don't know. I don't know. He's showing his weakness a lot this year, though. There's an argument to be made that I'd fire him. I'm just throwing it out there. All right. Wow. All right. Um, There's an argument to be made. I think he's a bottom 10 head coach in football. That's a statement. I mean, look, I'm sorry. It's a coach. It's a coach quarterback left tackle league, and they are awful at all three. That's fair. Will Levis is not the answer. No, no and their left <laughs> tackle is not very good, and uh, and he has not been a good coach this year. Period. End of story. I'm taking the Texans though. Yeah, uh, Saints at the Buccaneers. I think the Bucks roll. Saints are bad. The Saints, Saints can't the figure out how they're, to play football. They're a poorly coached football team. Uh, and that's reflecting in their quarterback play and their run game. I was going to so. say their quarterback doesn't know what what team to throw the football to. Yeah, it's not good. Cardinals at the Eagles. If it was in Arizona, it's an interesting game. I really do. I think it's a scrappy game if it's in Arizona. I just don't think Kyler and that team is going to go on the road to cold Philly in December. Yeah. That just doesn't that doesn't feel like a good spot for me uh, for, for Arizona, so I'll go Philly. Uh, Philly, but I'm not going to lie. I'm concerned. I, I don't know what to think of Philly okay, that's why That's what I'm saying. I think Arizona's really scrappy. Yeah, They're scrappy, but like on on the Philadelphia side, you don't know what team you're getting. You don't know what Eagles team you're getting. No, I mean, Are, that, are that, you going to get the team that puts that, up 500 yards of offense and goes insane? Or are you going to get the team where the, the guy runs into the, his own kick returner and fumbles the football? Exactly. Like yeah. They do really little stupid things. Yeah, Jalen, the Jalen's pick six. Jalen didn't look good. No, he didn't. Uh, Niners at the Commanders. I think this is one of the better bounce-back spots in the history, right? I mean, when's the last time the Niners have lost? Well, I guess earlier this year they lost three straight, but especially not to not to a bad team. Yeah. Right? You just don't – they're not going to lose to a bad Commanders team. Uh, the Niners on the road, I think, slam the Commanders. What is it, like 10 and a half, something like that? 13 and a half. 13 and a half. Wow. Okay. I stayed away just because I, that's a lot That's a lot of points, but that's an interesting line to say. I was going to say that is kind of crazy. Uh, Rams at the Giants. Rams are a much better football team, and who are the Giants starting at quarterback? Is it going to be Tyrod? It probably should be Tyrod. I mean, we knew Tommy DeVito wasn't a franchise quarterback. Like people, yeah. Tommy Cutlets, the passing Paisano, he's a bench warmer. <laughs> he's a third string quarterback at best. Yeah. Tyrod Taylor's a better NFL quarterback, but it doesn't matter. I think the Rams win. Uh, yeah, Rams. <laughs> 
the whole that's the one of the scariest teams in football is, is crazy. Yeah, the, the Rams. The Rams are a team that I would not want to see in the they playoffs. They are getting hot, and, and you know how good McVay is in the playoffs. And Stafford, he's unbelievable. He's fantastic. He really is. I saw I somebody be like, "Oh, sidearm, like a little bit Mahomes style." It's like, dude, he's been doing that nope. since Mahomes was in middle school. Yeah, Mahomes picked that up from Matt yeah, Stafford. Right, Matt Stafford's been sidearm and off platform, weird arm angle throws since you know, again, and, Mahomes is in middle school. And the no look thing too. He can do it just especially as well in this year. Well, that was sick. That was awesome. All right, Dolphins at the Ravens. I think the Ravens. They're, so they're both coming off physical games. This so our normally, game of the week. normally, yeah, this is the game of the week. Normally, I'd be like, ooh, but two physical games. Like, oh, whoever came off of you know a tough emotional game may drop back a little bit. But they're both coming off really big emotional wins. I'll take the better team at home. Uh, the Ravens are a more Ravens. physical team, right? We see what uh, Miami can do against physical teams. They can tend to crumble a little bit. Although they didn't versus Dallas. Want to make that known. Want to give them their credit. Two weeks in a row of that, I just don't see it. I just think Lamar is playing his ass off. And this team, uh, w- watching them on their defense is incredible. On Christmas night, that was insane what they were able to do to the 49ers. And I, I am more impressed by Lamar's quarterback play every time I watch him. I mean, he is becoming a real legitimate thrower of the football. Yeah, he's always been underrated, and now he's becoming rated properly yeah uh raiders at the colts i'll take the colts to win i mean the raiders aiden o'connell is such a horrific nfl quarterback the offense is just awful which is doesn't make any sense to me doesn't make any sense if, to me. if they had a competent quarterback i think they would be a really scary team i think, I think they Javon, would be competing with the chiefs right now is for jimmy the g West. healthy i don't th- i don't believe so i think he is i saw him in shoulder pads the other day why, why is he not on the field I know he threw a bunch of interceptions earlier in the year. So what? At least he could complete a pass in the final three quarters. I, I don't think he's healthy, though. I think he is. It doesn't matter. The Colts win. Yeah, I have the Colts. Uh, Patriots at the Bills. Now, this is an interesting line because the Bills are favored by 12. That's a lot of points for a Bill Belichick defense, but I will take the Bills to win. Yeah, Bills over the Patriots. I, I don't like anything they have cooking in New England right now. No. And I think uh, Josh Allen's going to have his way. These are two awful games, so we'll go quickly here. Falcons at the Bears. Bears are... <laughs> I, I, I guess a slightly better football this team. Is... I just trust the outdoor team outside over the indoor team outside. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'll take the cold-weather Chicago Bears over the indoor Desmond Ritter, Taylor Heineke Falcons. And we're not betting Atlanta, so we, we no, stick to never bet Atlanta. too. Uh, Panthers at the Jags. Again, awful game. Thank God the Panthers might be the worst team in football. They are the worst team in football because the Jags over the last four weeks have been the worst team in football. So, um, But I'll, I'll, I will lean Jags barely. Yeah, Jaguars. I, I hate Bryce Young and the Panthers, so Fair that's enough. about it. I mean, like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think you're a minority there. Those two games at the end there are just are kind of horrific. We still have our split, right? Yeah, we got three. We have four more games. Oh, all right, sweet. Yeah, Steelers at the Seahawks. I'll take the Seahawks. Okay. Cross country flight for the Steelers. That ain't gonna go well. I, w- I was really hoping to take Pittsburgh and to uh, and to somehow ride the Steelers train on that one and you know predict another Mason Rudolph victory, but I I, I don't see it going. That's gonna to be Seattle. A, that's gonna be a not, Hornets nest. In not in Seattle. Seattle. That's, there's just no chance. That, no. that that place is gonna be insane because uh, they're fighting for their life. That that's gonna be a really really tough environment. Again, cross country, probably cold, wet, and windy. a really good defense. Yeah. Uh, Bengals at the Chiefs. I'll take the Chiefs, but I, again, interesting line. We'll get to that later. But the Bengals are just heavily disrespected in this game, under undervalued because of you know they just got thumped by Mason Rudolph. But I think they're a much better football team than Vegas is leading on. I'll take the Chiefs narrowly because they're at home. Yeah, I'm taking the Chiefs. I, I I'm not sure what this game will end up looking like. 21-18 Chiefs, something like that. Uh, Broncos uh, hosting the Chargers. I'll take the Broncos. Broncos. I, I just don't trust Easton Stick at quarterback. Nope. <laughs> in the lack of a coach. Yeah, yeah, so. no coach, Easton Stick, not going to go well. No. And then finally, the last game, and our only split, we have the Packers traveling to Minnesota. You're going to take the Vikings. I will actually take the Packers to bounce back here. Jordan Love, going to play well. I know they just <laughs> narrowly beat uh, the Panthers, who are not a good football team, but I think Jordan Love, he looked good. They have a little bit of rhythm with the young players. I'll take the Packers to win close in the division game. I talked about um... – the, the Titans looking like the most inconsistent team in football. I think both of these teams also have an argument for it. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. I don't feel great about taking the Vikings here. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't feel good about taking the Packers. I mean, th- this game is, I would say, a coin flip. Yeah, I mean, Vegas is basically telling you that. I mean, uh, Minnesota's favored by two. It's basically okay. a pick Almost just, a pick I'll take Minnesota. I just don't trust Jordan Love and the Packers 
I think the game will probably close at, at like you know Minnesota Fair by a point. I think it's I think you're going to see some money coming in on Green Bay. I, like I think it's going I think it's going to be bet down to a pick them. So yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a coin flip type of game. All right. That's our only split there. I'll take the Packers. You're taking the Vikings. Um, tight race here down the stretch for our predictions. Next we got bets.